אז אריאל, ספרי לי על עצמך. could have been in a magazine. Things are so different here. I mean, everything was beautiful. The curtains match the pillows and the comforter match. You still have your comforter. Anyway, I wanted everything to be so perfect for you. And it was really, it really was perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. We praise God for Eitan, as well as for Yossi and Talia and Ariel and Laura as well. We got some mishpucha. And I'm going to give them a chance to say a word here. Um, I just I was just remembering when you were born. Um, the GOC really loved you, Ariel, and he really spent so much time with you. You did things together, a lot of things together. He was very, um, very connected to you. I remember when we brought you home and he would sit in the room and he would sit there and we had this beautiful like gliding chair and he would sit there with you every night and he would just be with you. I was about eight years old. My father was supposed to come to the end of the day and the end of the day for Pesach. And he didn't come. And I had a lot of time in the morning. והחלטתי, כאילו, אחרי כמה שעות, ללכת uh, לראות מה קורה איתו. אז הלכתי עד לצד השני של עפולה, וכשהגעתי ל- לדירה שלו, הסתכלתי בחלון, והדירה הייתה ריקה, וכל מה שהיה שם זה היה נגן דיסקים שחור מאפן כזה, וביליתי על המדרגות וחיכיתי לו. ומי שמצא אותי בסוף ה... האירוע הזה, זו הייתה אימא שלי. This is why my mother said, I'm not quite sure I remember it. But when that happened, my father came and took Jeff and Larry and, to, and drove to California with them. Why didn't he take you? 
Um, he just didn't. I who knows, maybe Jerry, my stepfather, was involved in the double I don't know, not real. יצרי, אני רוצה שתחזרי שנייה אחורה ותספרי לי איך זה גרם לך להרגיש. אני לא מבינה. אני לא מבינה למה אני צריכה לחזור על זה כל פעם. מה אתה רוצה ממני? שתסלחי. After he left, I always gave him the benefit of the doubt that, right. you know, something will come around yeah. and he'll become, and he'll get back in touch and he'll come back and I don't know yeah. what. But then slowly, as the years went on, when he didn't even call you on your bat mitzvah, and he didn't call you when he finished high school, and he didn't call you when Doing you went wars. into the army, and he didn't call you when you were in the, in the service and, and we were having a war, And he didn't call you in the second war. And he didn't call you when uh, you went into university. And at some point I just said, I, I hope he never ever calls you again, because I know that when he does, it's going to again, like, waken up all of these hard feelings, and it's going to hurt you. And he doesn't. And if he loved you, even the tiniest bit. I think he does. He, he, I no, think he's I sick. Think he's so. sick. He does love he her. He would have called. I mean, how can you not call your he's, daughter when you know he's, that she's in the army? Because he's sick. No. It's he's not, not well. He's of, not well emotionally. I think I'm more deeply connected to you than to probably almost anyone. 
that I gotta say, that's kind of pretty sad because I don't, I don't think you probably think we're not connected. You know what I mean? So I don't know if that makes you feel good in any way. Us before I went on this business trip, that we were gonna get your first bike. Mm -hmm. Now this was to me a very big deal. I wanted to see your face. I wanted to see how you were going to experience this. Because I remember my first bike. I mean, I, it was like a big deal thing, you know? He went and got the bike while I was on a business trip and gave it to you and didn't let me share in that experience. And he would always, he would do that a lot, Ariel, and would seemingly manipulate the situation so that he was the hero and I was, you know, secondary, you know? And I think that, is a, that affected our relationship. I really don't. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Maybe I'm going too deep, but... <laughs>